No braai is a braai without some good acacia charcoal. Oh, it takes me back, man. Be honest with you, it's been a whole week of snowmageddon, and I don't know about you, but if you get cabin fever, you want a braai. We've got a bit of a longing for the Otrans fall. And if you don't know what the Otrans fall is, for those people from South Africa who know exactly what I'm talking about at this point, we got a really good friend there. His name is Willy van der Skaif. We call him Willy in Canada. We don't call him Willy. Obvious reasons why you don't call him Willy. Um, but Willy sent us a little present, sort of for late last year, October-ish. We picked it up in the Soyuz, just a little bit further away from us. He gave us a little bit of South Africa and he said, boys, if you guys are ready with cabin fever in winter when the snow is miles deep and and the thermometer is 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 way down, then think about the Otrans fall. Stick Ophirki on. Let's put a little bit of a of a fleecy or a little bit of meat on the cooler. So let me translate that for our English friends. It's um, put a, a little bit of charcoal, light it, uh, put a little bit of lamb and a vors sausage on it so that you can remember what your roots are all about. So I'm getting lyrical already, but um, he's also given us a bright tool. So let's see how it works. We discovered this the other day in the store and we're going to let him lose his chicken heart virginity. So we're going to cook some chicken hearts and we're going to do that and this is where it's going to get really, really awesome. Come with me, I want to show you this one. So we're going to do that on Acacia barbecue. This is charcoal all the way from Africa. And we're going to do it on <coughs> Acacia's little easy grill. You see that thing? Okay, now you have to be very, very cocky if you talk about an easy grill. Ziploc bag, obviously all the way from South Africa. Is there instructions here, Willy? Yeah, Billy gave us instructions. Uh, easy grill, stainless steel, portable grill. Oh, by the way, he sells these things in Canada. So if you want to cook with something from South Africa, this is the way you can you can get going. So it's got, all right, let's see. True to form, cowboy style. We don't read instructions. We're going to see if this one works without instructions because if the cowboys have to read instructions, it's not worthwhile having the thing in the first place. Okay, another one. If these are the legs, it goes in like that, you think? You have to be able to assemble it without instructions because then it's cowboy proof. Cowboy safe, cowboy proof. Okay, I think we need to check the instructions. Just to see on the picture if we're on the same track, the right track here. Um, yes, I, can, I didn't think about this. Uh, we got a, oh, shoot. There you go. See, now we got holes for it. Did you get it right? I think I got it right. I'm just checking instructions here. Um, it looks right. Remove all parts, insert parts two and four opposite each other. One side is secure with a charcoal plate installed. Add your fire starch and charcoal. Light the fire off the grill is cooled. Pack it away. No problem. We got it. Okay, so this is Willie's little um, easy grill stainless steel barbecue. Let's, let's get it going. No braai is a braai without some good acacia charcoal all the way from the good old transport. So here's the charcoal. This is this is good old Bosfeld lump charcoal. Oh it takes me back man. This is gonna be lovely. Let's let's get a starter going first. I want to show you how cowboys do fire lighter. This is the way we do it here in cowboy country. So we have a little bit of old oil. Then in Africa we call this a zol. And we roll a little zoliki here. Come on, suck a little oil there for us, big guy. Got some oil going. The cooking oil. Okay, cowboy style. That should get us going. I think I killed my fire hanger. Yeah, I was about to say, you're killing your fire there. <laughs> oh, fire, where are you? Fire, fire, where are you? Here we go. What do you reckon what the hog calls it today? Minus seven. Minus seven? Is yeah, that it? I think so. Observe, in Canada you don't wear gloves until it's minus 20. Are you going to thread your own chicken hearts? 
I'm not eating chicken. <laughs> yes, you are. This is this is as South African as you actually can get, except for all this the snow and stuff and the little Mickey Mouse bride that we've got there is. We have ourselves some some lollipopies. Oh goodness, this is just two. Okay. But it's not springhouse. This is lamb from the boundary country here in British Columbia. Let's give it some time. Let's get a beer. Um, I've already started a beer nest for us. There's a beer nest. Cowboy. Cowboy. I got a surprise for you. It's a surprise. Huh? You want to dig in there? Dig. What is that, cowboy? Uh, here you go. Right. Biermanskap, leeuw plezier. Cheers. Cheers. Ons wacht vir die vier, ons sien ons jylle aan die ander kant. Here's a top tip from the cowboys when you use one of these Mickey Mouse bras. Lamb is, oh man, it's painful to cook lamb. How beautiful and delicious it is. Can you see what it's doing? It's flaming. So you have to be patient. Okay. So we do the Japanese hibachi style. Look at that. Uh, you, want, you want your heart, eh? Little chicken heart for you? It's hard. Mm. Hurry up. Have a bite. To doom. To doom. To doom. To doom. To doom. To doom. Chewy. Yeah, it's a little hard. But delicious. I think our lamb's a little crispy. <sighs> what do you think? <laughs> uh, it's a fuck up. <laughs> it's not going so well at the moment. <laughs> One thing about South African hardwood is it's really hot coals. And I probably overdone it a little with the coals here because we did it cowboy style. We just really piled on the coals the way that it should be. It's probably needing a little bit less than what I've done, but I did it for the wars. So patience, patience is a virtue, patience. even in barbecue. Look who showed up. Yeah. What do you reckon, guy? Pretty good. That's a good one. <laughs> That's better than Gaucho. Uh huh. No, we can't say that. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. Better than Gaucho. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two cowboy style. Clink, clink. <laughs> what, what do we say? Bucket, bucket, go. No. <laughs> the main attraction. Cowboy? Voshis. Come here, you have to say that again. Because everybody in South Africa is going to see this. What do we call this, Billy? Uh, Voshis. Voshis. This is a Vorshi. You yes. know I'm saying that wrong, <laughs> damn you. This is a Vors. It's not a Vorshi. This is what we call Buddha Vors in South Africa. Um, and you'll be getting this a lot at the Cowboys Cookhouse. And this is the trick to loading a Buddha Vors. That's how you, that's how you load a Vors. If you can't braai a Vors without tongs, you're not a boor. But I'm not gonna do it, so. <laughs> hey now! <laughs> Willy, kudos to you. You made a braai and our voice fits. And I'm very proud of you. This braai works, now we're gonna do some Buddha voice. And by the way, you don't have to spice anything. This is just good old charcoal, acacia barbecue. Man, this smells good. It smells like home. <laughs> That's embarrassing. What? Looking good. Looking good. So, how do you know if a Buddha Vors is a good Vors? When it opens up. No, when it snaps. Oh. <laughs> so, when it's open. Yeah, when it opens. No, it's not. we're not going there. It bang. See? It snapped? Yes. That's when you know it's a good Vors. Here you go, cowboy. I think this Vors is done. Um, Willy. Yeah, manier. Just keep keep these things coming. We really appreciate it, and we understand why you brought this. Is for cabin fever, snowed in cowboys. We appreciate it. Thanks for sharing it with us. 
followers. I believe you. You don't want to eat chicken hearts? We're going to eat boundary lamb. I prefer the lamb. See how fatty it is? Beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's full baby. of fat. Okay. <laughs> Perfection. Hmm? Okay. What do you want to do to my lamb? Okay. Okay. Come on. Right. Just give, give me a moment. Just let me show you.